Hello and welcome to a three-player playthrough of Endless Winter. Now, in this video, we're just going to be playing through the game. It's assumed you've already watched my previous video, which is the how to play video. But if you haven't, go and check that out first if you want to learn how to play. But if you already know how to play, you're now going to see us play the game. Just before the game starts, I would recommend you turn on the subtitles on this video and switch them to the Klingon channel. If there are any mistakes that are made in this video that are spotted later on, I will add in Klingon subtitles so that you can see them on screen. Peter's joining me. Hello. Stephen's joining me as well. Hello. We've all played the game a few times before, uh, and we're, we've done pretty much all of the setup. The only things that I wanted to go through before we start is which sacred stone tiles we're using in this game. So if you remember from the tutorial, we do select uh, a series of sacred stone tiles at random from the 10 that are available. The ones that we've got are this one on the left-hand side is uh, one point for each of your camps, which is on a different terrain type. Now, the base terrain tile does count for this, and glaciers count for this as well. So yeah, count how many different types of terrain your camps are on, not villages, only camps, and you get one point for each. Now, each player only has five camps, so you can only get a maximum of five points for that. These three are all for villages that are touching at least one hex of the indicated terrain. So we've got the brown terrain, the yellow terrain, and the green terrain. The two at the top are all related to megaliths. So this one is one point for each of your megaliths, so megaliths of your colour, not the grey ones, which are on the ground level of the megalith board. And this one is interesting. This is different megalith uh, boards that you're on. If you remember, the megalith board is actually made up of four different smaller boards. If you're on two different ones, you'll get one point. Three different ones is three point. Four is six point. The era two sacred stone tiles, we have these four that are all related to the number of animals of the indicated type that you've tipped. This is points for cards in your burial pile. And this is for every two steps that you've moved up either of the idle tracks. You count how many steps you've progressed on the idle tracks combined, divide by two round down and you get one point for that. So that's that. We've already done the map, so the map has already been laid out. What was interesting is we've got these three glaciers over here. So we've got this brown terrain over here, which is looking quite difficult to get to and potentially not that valuable. Um, we have three of the green tiles that give points, two of the yellow tiles that give idols, and two of the, the, the black tiles that give megaliths, which are next to each other. So anybody going down a megalith strategy, that might be a space they want to go to. Right then, okay, so next thing we need to do is chiefs. So I'm going to shuffle the five chiefs. Stephen, would you want to pick a number from one to five? May I have uh, two, please? A two. Peter, do you want to pick a number from one to four? Three, please. One, two, three. And can somebody pick top, middle or bottom for me? Top. Top is me. Right. So, as mentioned in the tutorial, once you've been dealt your chief, uh, you choose which side you want to play. So I've got Chief Chiselstone, uh, which is this one. And it means that whenever in the game I, I choose the... Which action is that? That's the develop action. So if I send my chief to the develop action, I can gain a tool or I can gain two food. I'm not sure which one of them I'm going to use. Let's have a think. I mean, tools are generally harder to get hold of, but... Can you wait until you've seen what your starting stuff is going to be before you decide? That's a very good question, actually. Let me just check that in the rules. One chief card chooses individually which side of their chief card to use during the game. So uh, that is step H of the setup. Uh, which is actually before the rest of the setup. So that's it. that's in the player setup. So I think we need to choose that beforehand. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to choose the one that gets me um, gets me tools. I think I've also chosen tools if I go hunting. Got? You've got that one, yeah. Tuskbreaker. Mm. Which one have you got? Uh, I've got Chief looking on with the rhino skull on his on his stick. That one. Yeah. There you go. Right. So we don't need those. They can disappear. Uh, and then, yeah, starting cards. So these are face down. So if you just pick one of these. There you go. And you want to pick one for me? Thank you. Right, so I get one tool, three food. I get the hunter. Starting card that I get from there. Uh, and I get those two animals. So, so you want a... I want one. a mammoth, uh, a woolly woolly mammoth, I believe. Blue. Blue is the ground sloth. That, uh, that goes to Stephen. Yours, uh, yeah, you get a glyptodon. That's yours, the Argentavis. So you're just looking for green and the other mammoth for me. Yep, there you go. So woolly rhino, that's it. Woolly rhino. Woolly mammoth. And uh, woolly mammoth. All about the wool. 
Right, okay. Did anybody get the starting card that gave them an extra base camp? No. May I have an elder, please? You can have an elder. There you go. Thank you. Um, which card would you like? Um, it's the shaman. Shaman, yeah. shaman. There we go. Right, so that goes in your deck. And initial turn order cards. I am first. Second. Third. Okay, and then you get the additional starting benefit as printed on the card, which for me is none. And then you make up your starting hand of cards. Start with the hunter, the brave, the tribeswoman, and then two other cards. Right. Okay. You can keep that if you want. Sure. Play a raid on the other side. Animals. So we're a three-player game, so we need four animals in the hunting ground. Right, and we're ready to start. So, my turn. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to play a culture card, and I am going to play altars. So I'm going to spend my one and only tool. Wow, okay. To place a megalith. And... Yeah, so it's got to be my grey megalith. And... Well, since I'm short on tools, I'm going to go here. So I'm going to go on that space, and the bonus of that space is that I place another megalith. And I'll put it on there, which gets me one tool. Right, that's my culture card. I don't have any other culture cards. So, do we want to go and do the develop action early? Or do we want to go hunting? What have we got? So we've got a woolly rhino. Mm -hmm. So if I'm looking for a set collection, that would be my second one. Although the Argentavis is a wild animal, so that's always good for helping make sets. I do like the saber-toothed cat, because the saber-toothed cat, when you tip the saber-toothed cat, you get two tools. Which is always useful. So I think I'm probably going to do that as my first action. Yeah, so we're going to place not my chief. Going to go over to there. And I am going to spend one tool and... Ah. Now, if I play my hunter, that generates me two labour. Yes. I don't actually want two labour. So I'm considering... using the tribeswoman. Yeah. Yeah. So I've actually got one tool. I haven't used the tool yet. Right, so I'm going to use the tribeswoman. Is that a little waste? Yeah, that's a waste. I'm going to use the tribesman. Right, the tribesman generates one labour. One labour and one tool will get me the saber-toothed cat. Get the saber-toothed cat. He's not going to last long. <laughs> now, I can do these any number of times that I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm now just going to proceed to here, and I am going to tip the saber-toothed cat, which gets me two food, and two tools. And then I get the bonus action, which is, could I have an animal from the top of the deck, please? Let's see what we get. It's a stag moose. Right, and then at the end of my turn, I discard my cards and I put them there and I'm done. Stephen, you're up. Yeah, I am uncultured, so I shan't be doing that. Um, after all that long deliberation you had over the hunting, uh, I wish you'd reconsidered, because I wanted to go there. <laughs> Um, I, I will go there. Chief Tuskbreaker will go to... We'll go hunting. Hunting, please. Okay. Um, that gets me a tool. Because of your ability Because of, your of my ability here. Yep. Um, then maybe I will add... Two and a half labour. Well, do I want to add... Is that to add, add two animals? I mean, that, yeah, that's two and a half labour if you it is. the brave. But can I add some animals? You can add that? two animals. It's so a one labour is to add two animals Let to the Let me do ground. that with one of my labour, please. Okay. Can I have two animals, Peter? That on the... So another the stag moose and another woolly rhino. Oh, that's good for you. So you should have let me go there first. I should. You should. <laughs> um, then I think in order to... So you've to, still got, I've got one labour left. Well, one and a half labour left. I have one and a half labour left. So let's add a tribeswoman. So you've got 
Three labour. Three labour. And you've got three tools. And I have three tools. Or you could buy a fourth. I could buy a fourth. Maybe I will. Okay. Buy a fourth. So you've got three labour. From this and three labour. Three. Three tools to take tools three animals. To take three animals. Let's take this fellow. Yeah. And we'll take this one. Move down. You got one more to take. Oh, because I spent, three, spent three, three tools. Yeah, spent three. So let's take. Let's mix it up. Yeah. And are you tipping any of them? It's over, overdosing on the food. So let's me tip. You're going to tip the Argentavis. Oh, I am. Yeah. So tipping in Argentavis is two idle movements. Mm, let's have two idle movements there so then. Up on the honor track. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well done. Yes. And then Move down no bottom. bonus down at the bottom and discard your played cards. Yep. Peter, I will any go. culture cards? No, I will go here. Yeah. And spend, right. So you've used your chief. I get a tool. So you get a tool. For him. Oh, we've all chosen the ones that get us tools. Yeah. Right, okay. Yes. That's two and a half. Yep. Three and a half, four and a half. Four and a half labor. Four and a half labor. With four tools. Is that? Uh, with four tools. Yeah. So which card don't you want? I'll have one of each except for the... Um, well, I've already got... I've already got Shaman. So I'll have so one. So you want... Each. Right, so you got a full set. And they go into my... They go into your hand. Into my hand. Yeah, so they're in your hand. And then you can spend one food... To burn a card. To bury a card. Bury a card, which... Which will it could be one of yeah, these? Yeah, can be one of those. Yeah. So that can go here, and you get one of these to your discard pile, uh, which will be the hunter, I think. And it goes to your discard pile, and then the bonus is one idle movement, and bury one card. So one idle movement. Let's go here. Yeah. And, and bury the other tribes. Bury the other tribes. Yeah. Nice. Couple of cards in the burial pile early on. Cannon fodder, and that's my go. Right. Okay. So my second turn, we've still got two spaces left with bonus actions. So I think I'm probably going to want to use one of those. Um, do I want to send my chief? I mean, I obviously want to use my chief. No, we're going to we're going to send my normal worker there, and I am going to spend. Don't spend all of your tools at once, Paul. Don't spend all of your tools at once. He says, <laughs> spending all of his tools at once. Because I'm going to get a free placement and a free movement. And I don't think I want to build a village at the start. Although I could. We worked out that it's it's for labour, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, so one, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I could potentially build a village at the start. Maybe I will. Maybe, that, maybe that's what I'll do. Which means I need to build another... So, two tools... To build two more camps there. And then I am going to play the Brave for two and a half labour. The Tribeswoman for another one and a half labour. So there's four labour. I'm going to use the ability of the Tribeswoman to convert one food into one tool. And then I am going to spend that four labour. And we're going to go one two, three, four. And then I'm going to spend three of my four food to convert those into a village. And that's using that action there. Let's pop them back. Right, and then the bonus action is place a camp and move a camp and I'm going to move, I think, to... Now, if I'm going to be taking that, I'm going to move to here. Done. Discard my cards. Do like an early village. Early villages are nice. Yeah. Stephen? Yes, I will take the necklace action. The please. initiate. No, I'm sorry, the develop. This develop. is initiate. This yeah. is develop. I'm going to spend my 
three, three labour. Three, uh, yeah, three labour to get a culture card. Yeah, let's take a culture card. That culture card is going to be... This one. Okay. Discard a card to build a megalith and get a food. Yes. That goes to your hand. Yes. And would you like to buy a sacred stone? Your first sacred stone is one food and one tools. Well, given that I've just picked up a megalith card, yes, I will, please. Okay. So, one food. Yeah. One tool. tool. I will take the... Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that yeah, one. That one. For being on different megalith boards. It was there. Allows me to... Bury a card, card as a covering bonus. Yep. And the bonus space is one food and one tool. One food, one tool. Done. Discard played cards. Peter, your go. No. Um, I'm going to go here. You're resting. I'm resting. Okay, so you draw a card. It's quite tiring recruiting all of you. <laughs> so I draw a card. Yeah. And you may tip an animal if you want to. I kill a Glyptodon, which gets me... Um, one up on this track, yeah, and three, three food. food. Okay, and that's the end of my go. Yeah, and you'll have a one and a half labour bid. Yeah, in the uh, in the eclipse phase. Right. Well, my last action, my chief gets a bonus whenever I choose the initiate action. Sorry, the develop action. But unfortunately, I've got a hunter in hand, so I kind of messed this up a bit because I now don't have enough stuff to do the thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here with my chief. I'm going to use my chief's ability to gain one tool. Um, but then I'm not actually going to buy a culture card because I don't have the three labour. I spent all of my labour moving I, those huts around. I, I knew it was a mistake yeah. for you to go hunting and getting <laughs> in my way. Uh, but we will get a sacred stone. So one food and one tool for... Um, and it's going to be the sacred stone for being next to green spaces. I'm going to put it there, and that allows me to bury a card from my discard pile. Oh, look, there's a tribesman. He's an ex tribesman. Right, now, that's my third turn of the game, so I now create my eclipse pile, or keep this card in hand till next time. I am going to put it in my eclipse pile. My eclipse pile is one card. It's honestly not a hunter. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to believe you or not, but okay. I am done. You're done? Yeah. I am also done because I'm going to rest. You're resting. Okay. I'm going to put that not culture card at all. Well, you draw a card first. I am going to draw a card. And you can tip an animal if you want to. I do not want to tip an animal. Okay. That would be wasteful in the extreme. And then are you, I'm you going putting to that in that the eclipse well, pile? Yes. So two cards in the eclipse pile. Yes. And one worker resting. Peter, your third turn. I'm resting again. Again. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. Wow. I'm going to kill an Argentavis, uh, which gets me two points on this track here. And uh, then that's my go. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards into my. Remember, any that you keep, you can keep till next round. Yes. All, all in there. Right. Can you just bring the Argentavis up a bit? Yeah, sure. There you go. Right, OK, so we're done. We now reveal our Eclipse piles and announce our bid. I have a bid of one labour. I suspect that isn't going to win. I have one and a half. So your culture cards go back to your they hand? They do. Right, OK. Twelve. Twelve. So I, I think twelve beats one and a half. I think that was just showing off for the most part. I think so. Right, OK. So, Peter, in order, the first reward you get is one megalith. OK. So it has to be your grey one. And remember, grey megaliths do not have to be placed on the grey spaces, but only grey ones can be placed on the grey spaces. So you could put that grey one next to one of these if you wanted to, but if you put it on one of those spaces, you'd then immediately get to place another one. Right. I'll put it on uh, that one. There. This one? Yes, please. Yeah. On the other so your one, next one... That way. Okay, which gets you two food. Gets me two, two food. Right, okay. Your second reward is all of the cards that you've just played, the Eclipse benefits of all of the cards you've just played, which oh, is well, too many to fit on the screen. Too many. To, two, two of them are tribesmen. So okay, so they just go straight to the discard pile. So the others are a bit easier. Um, I get two tools for the... Why did you play the tribesmen into your Eclipse pile? 
Because um, you were going to win that bid. You were easily going to win the bid. I don't know. I didn't think... I'll, I'll let you keep them in hand if you okay? want. Yeah, because you, you wouldn't have played them if they have no abilities. Um, I say sorry a lot, by the way. Really good, so, <laughs> um, so I get a, uh, a point on this track for him. So that is an immediate two points already. Okay. Uh, I get to bury a card. Yeah. Which I think that might have been the reason why I chose to play trades. But you can bury one of the other ones. you got... You got plenty of them. I'll come back to that one. Yeah, I think that might have been the reason actually why. Yeah, if you if you want to if you want to play, I did want to bury a, okay. uh, a tribe. Yeah, so I will do that. So that's the bearing a card. You get one of these to your discard pile, which can be a any of them. Um, a Pathfinder, I think. Yeah. Okay. You gain two tools. Uh, gain two tools. The crafter. Uh, you place a camp and gain a food. Have I done that one? You've done that one, yeah. So place a camp. Um, yeah, and goes in the middle and gain two food. And Sorry, one food. food. And then two camp movements. Uh, I'll send them both to the megalith spot. This one? Yes. So you're going to tie with me for the most influence on this space? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's my go. That's your cards done. And my cards. Now yeah. we do the terrain benefits, okay. and you get a megalith. Which can, can go adjacent to any existing megalith. Can I put it on that one that gets me two cards? There? Yeah. Yeah, so you draw two cards. Uh, and then the final bonus is your player board. Tool you get one that. tool. Yeah, that's it. That's it, you're done. Right, Stephen, your rewards. First of all, it is drawing one card. And remember, okay. you've always got lesser benefits if you ever want them. Sure. Cards that you played into your Eclipse pile, which was none. Terrain benefits, which is none. Player board, none. None. None, right. Me, I get one idle movement. Um, well, just to be different, I'm going to move up this side. Then I have the cards that I played, which is this. So I get a camp here, um, and again one food. So that's that done. I've then got terrain benefits, right? So I get the terrain benefits for here, which is two food. I get the benefits for here, which is two points, and then I get the benefits of both there and there, which is two megaliths. So this is going to be these two. Now then, yeah, as we know, cards cards are strong. So I think I'm going to take two cards. But I'm not sure what to do with this one. All of this looks really good. But I think I'm tempted by the two tools, but I'm also tempted by Some nice culture. By a culture card. Although I know I'm going to have one culture card in hand. So I'm going to go for the two tools. Let's keep it simple. I'll go there, get two tools. Right, so that's all of my terrain benefits used. And then I've got my player board. So I get two points for each of my villages, which is touching a green terrain, which is two points. And I get one card draw and I get a tool. So one card draw, one tool, and two points because I'm touching that. There we go. Right, so we've all now got our benefits. We discard the cards, and we prepare for the next round. So we need one more culture card. We need two more animals. Uh, we all get five cards from our deck, so I get one, two. I, I, oh, lots of woolly rhinos. These were shuffled. Uh, I think they were shuffled. Okay. Yeah. Three, four, five. Uh, so five cards and workers come home. And then we move on to round two. Eight. And just shuffle these animals just in case. But I'm pretty sure they were shuffled. I remember shuffling them last night and then oh, well. counting them to making sure they were all there. Well. 
I'm just shuffling all of the rest of the woolly rhino to the top. <laughs> just to make sure. In terms of how many different types of animals there are, there's uh, five different types of animals of which there's ten of each. And then there's two types of animals of which there's five of each. So it's a 60 card deck, the animal deck. Right, Peter, you are first. Culture cards. We should definitely have some now. Right. I will play altars. I will. Oh, One tool. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's the, thinking. Um, he's thinking. He's thinking. Well, the other one's communal feast, which uh, gets me. Gets you another drive card, my, which is good. Mm -hmm. But um, altars, I think, is better. But do I need to do altars now? Do I need altars? What I could do with altars is I could turn a tool yep. into a megalith, which I then place. And I place it on the space in that square over there that gets me a tool. This one? Yep. There you go. You get your tool so back. I get my tool back. And now your action. My action will then be to go uh, here. And how many camps would you like to build? I didn't need to do that, did I? Um, I would like to build, I think, uh, let's build two. Two. Okay. And um, so two camps on the base terrain tile. Yep. Then uh, where 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 is he? I need the pathfinder, the elder. That's the pathfinder because he gives me an extra one of those. So I've got two, got two labor labor two, so two far. Camps. So if I can move those two camps to the um, yeah. And then I need one more. I'm yeah. going to find somewhere. I'm going to find that. Tr that find another labour with a tribesman to move that one to there. Yes. Yeah. And then three food to turn them into a village. One, two, three. So get rid of these three. There you go. I'll swap you. Oops. Thank you very much. There it goes there. Fair exchange. Yeah, it seemed a strong location that. And then uh, I place one and move one. Place one, and can I move it onto the this this tool site, please? This green yeah. forest. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All done. Actually, no. Can I move it onto the megalith site there? This one. Yes. Oh, fight there. <clears throat> uh, that is the end of my go. Hostile activities. It right. Is. I will also mm -hmm. enters for a tool to place this one. Here. Yeah. Which goes on this one. There and gets you the tool there, back. Gets me the tool back. Uh, so that was very well done, I thought. But now I have to do something else. I ought to go animal hunting again, I think, please. Yes, the chief. So gets, me gets you a tool, tool for your chief ability. Right then. Yes, so then we need some tools and some labour. Tools and labour. Yep. <clears throat> so we will go with a tribesman. We have two tools remaining. We go with another tribesman. We will spend those two tools. And two animals. Take two animals. You have take this one and two woolly rhinos. This one. Okay. All hunting done? Yes, thank you. Would you like to tip an animal? No, I wouldn't. Would, right, I have a random animal from the top of the deck. Is it another woolly rhino? It is another woolly well, rhino, and I, and I shuffled them as well. <laughs> there you go. Right, so my go, uh, culture card first. I think I'm going to play some more altars, since I now have lots of tools. So we'll spend a tool. And we're going to place another megalith on the board. Now, I have the opportunity at this point, if I wanted to, to go on top and grab some points. Mm. But I don't think I want to do that. I think there's still lots of other nice, juicy abilities out there with stuff to do, including getting culture cards. So I think I'm going to go here and get myself a culture card. Uh, now, there are lots of nice culture cards out there. 
and I'm looking for ones that don't actually cost me anything because otherwise I'll probably end up getting into a position where I can't play them. So I'm going to take this spit roasting card. So that goes into my hand. Now, do I want to play a second culture card? No, I do not want to play a second culture card. Right, which action we're going to do? We are going to... Oh, actually, maybe I do. But I'd have to discard a card in order to do that. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go here. So we're going to send my chief on the action that he's best at, which is the develop action. So because I've done that, I gain a tool. Uh, and then I am going to generate some labour. So I'm going to generate one, two, three labour with three tribesmen. And I'm going to take another culture card. I am going to take log rafts. Although I had my eye on that one. Do I want to generate three more labour for another culture card? I do not. So we're going to move to here. And I think... I'm going to buy my second Sacred Stone. Although none of these are actually any use to me at all. Oh, no, they are. Hang on a minute. That one's really good. Two food and one tool to buy this Sacred Stone, which goes there. And the benefit of covering is a tribe card to my discard pile. I am going to take a, a hunter, not a hunter, a shaman to my discard pile. Uh, and then the bonus is one tool, one food, discard my cards. I am done. Okay. Nice. Okay. Back to Peter. Turn two of round two. Well, I think it would be churlish not to. Mm -hmm. Any culture cards first? Oh. Um, how about a tiny bit of communal feasting? I think... Uh... Yeah. A nice bit of hog roast would go down well. Let's one food. Turn one of those Four. into a. Um, let's have a. Uh, ooh, let's have a. Let's have a hunter. I think, please. There you go. Thank you very much. Which goes onto my discard pile. Discard pile. Yeah. That's right, because it's yeah. displayed as being torn in half. Uh, then it's the obvious thing to do. Yeah. The initiate action again. Um, More tribes, people. Now, I've got Chief Looking Hand, which gets me a tool. I play an Elder who's got that, which You've is... You've got two Labour. Two. So I use a tool to get me um, another card into my hand. Mm -hmm. And then if I use another tool and another Labour, I can do that again. Yeah, so you've got two labour at the moment and you've spent one tool. So I will spend two tools. So you have two different cards. I have two different cards, and that's my limit. So I will have a um, uh, a Pathfinder and a Crafter, I think, please. Thank okay, and then we move down to here. Would you like to spend a food to have another Tribes card to your discard pile? I think I would. I'll take a Crafter. And you can bury a card if you want to. And those cannon fodder. Yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, there he is. Sorry. Tribesman, in you go. And then the bonus is one idle and bury a card. Okay, one idle. Um, which would be that. Moving up. Bury a card. Now, normally it's not a good idea to bury out of your hand. No. Um, but I'm going to send that tribesman onto a happy hunting ground. Okay. Um, so off he goes. And that's my go. Right. Stephen. Lovely. So I am going to discard, discard a card. card to build to a megalith and get a food. Get a food and build a megalith. Megalith is going to go here. Yeah. For two tools. Two tools. And then I am going to go to the people person the initiate action initiate action yep. which i can spend two tools and two tools and two labor two labor may i have a hunter please from the far end and a um ooh, may i have a shaman please and don't forget you can always spend food for labor as well mm -hmm. but i not just I don't have the tools to, yeah. to help out on that instance uh, done. Thank you. One food. One food. For any card to your discard pile. 
bury my tribesman. And bury a guard, yeah. That is it. And I will take, please, um, let's take a Pathfinder, I think. Thank you. Right. Okay. My second go. I am probably going to play two culture cards, I think. Well, the first one I'm going to play is Log Rafts. So that costs me a food, but I get to place a camp, move a camp, so I'm going to have to go here. I think I'm going to have to go there, although I'm not sure, actually. Mine, it won't be staying that long. It's, it's kind of in transit. Because <laughs> I need to be here. So, there. And a point. Right, that's my first culture card. Do I want to play a second culture card? Ah. It's tricky, isn't it? Chief's already been placed. All of the bonuses have gone. I don't want to be doing that. I think somebody might be getting tipped. One of these animals might be disappearing at some point soon. They're all pointing at the others and saying... Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't get me, get him! <laughs> um, yeah, I think we want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to discard a card in order to play a second culture card. Could I have an animal from the top of the deck? Oh, all right. Yo, it's a woolly rhino. <laughs> no. <laughs> So I think I've got a faulty deck. I think I've got a deck of 50 <laughs> woolly rhinos. I mean, there's only 10 in the game. There are four here. And six of them Two out there. already. One, one, one there. Seven of them. Seven of them. Uh, and gain of food. Right, that's it for my culture cards. I am then going hunting. And I am going to use the hunter for two labour and two tools to take those two cards. I'm very tempted to do another one. But then will I end up in a position where I just don't have the stuff? So I don't know what to tip now. Um, it's probably going to be a stag moose. So... I've used all of my labour. I'd have to generate... No, no, that's it. We're going to tip an animal. We're going to tip a stag moose. So tipping a stag moose gets a camp. And four food. So I go up to six. And that is me done. So, Peter, turn three. Resting. Uh, I've killed my entire... <laughs> Everybody's dead, sorry. Everybody's dead, Dave, so um, you draw a card. Draw a card. And then you create your eclipse pile. Um, and remember, if you think you're going to win anyway, you might not want to put ones that don't do anything. And culture cards are used as a bluff in your eclipse pile. They will go back to your hand. OK, I'm putting six cards <laughs> into my eclipse deck. Six cards. Stephen, your last turn for the second round. Mm. I think I'm just going to rest. Draw a card. Any animals being tipped? No, because my food stocks are quite yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but I will put... Peter's put six cards in and he's resting. I put five, five cards, cards and resting. And resting. OK, so my third turn... I mean, I'm going to be coming third, so I don't think there's any point in me trying to compete with that. I will play the culture card. I will spend the food to take a... Um, let's take a shame into my discard pile. And then on my turn, I will... Um, I don't quite know. What is it that I actually want to do? I mean, I've got some tools, so... I could go and get myself some more cards, and I probably do want to bury some cards before the end of the game. So, I mean, I don't want a third take. I could buy a third sacred stone at this point, but I don't think any of those sacred stones are good for me. I could go for a second village. Oh, Oh, now that might work. Yes, let's go here. Yeah, I just need two movement points and three food, and I can do it. Right, so let's do it. I am going to spend the tribeswoman 
for one and a half labor and I'm going to use her ability to spend the food for a tool. Then I don't have any cards in hand, so I'm going to have to spend two food for two extra labor included with that labor. No, I only need one, don't I? Yeah, one labor plus one labor is, that's going to move to there. I think that's right. Yeah, that's going to work with that. And then three food is going to convert those into a village. Yeah, it wasn't the plan, but I think that's worked out. So I'm done, and I will generate my Eclipse pile with zero cards. Nicely done. So, Eclipse phase, reveal your huge stacks of cards. My bid is zero. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to take my culture card back. Mine is three, four, five, six and a half. Six and a half. Uh, Peter's eight, is eight. more. Okay, so turn order does not change. Peter will do your rewards first. So the first one is a megalith. Yes, yes, yes. I think I will go for this one that gets me yeah, two food. food. Okay. Then we have terrain benefits. No, sorry, we have your cards. Cards are next. Right, well, let's start with this one. Yep. Uh, so I gain a food and I place a... Place a, a camp, camp on the base terrain tile. Yep. Then that one, and that one, and that one. is six tools. Six you can only have five, tools, but is five you can just use the lesser benefits to take a food, a food instead. Yeah. And have we got any? I don't think we've got any. Um, no, I think you buried all your tribesmen. I've buried all my tribesmen, so there's nobody left to actually do any work. Um, we, all we've got left is leaders, and we've, we've killed all the infantrymen. Uh, I, I, th I think we're going to have to. Uh, I'll think about that for a moment. Move to two movement points. Two movement points. Can they both come out uh, this way, please? One to the there and one to, to there. That's it. Yep. Um, and this is where I'm re actually regressing placing that camp where I do mm. because it's turning out to be. Um, gone well, it's stopping point. me from getting a. It, it 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 is, but I don't normally play negatively yeah. like that. I was actually playing for an extra village, um, forgetting that you don't get the number of megaliths according to the number of villages, you get the megalith for the tile. For the so, tile, yes. Um, that's kind of a yeah. dead, dead move. Uh, so I'm going to move. So I've done that. You've done that done movement. That. All and I you... have left to do now is to bury yeah, the card, card, which is going to have to be somebody useful. Um, so, um, uh, possibly, ooh, that would be a... Well, I've got loads. You of, got loads of them. I've got loads so, of them. So I think the crafter is going to have to um, yeah. go and right. Terrain benefits. You got quite a lot here. So you've got two points for that. Yeah. You've got two megaliths because you've got three influence over that hex, and you've got joint most over that hex. So you get two two megalith placements. So I think if I could, um, this is the end of. Two. This is the end of round two. Yeah. We're about to go into the second era. I think that culture card one in the corner there looks good. This one? Yes. Yeah. So you just take one of the culture cards. Take a culture card. Um, although having said that, these are... Uh, mind you, that, that, that one's quite good. You get a random card and... Random you, and one one you get two tools. Two tools and a food. And yeah. And a food. They're both <laughs> good. They're both good. But I think... Uh, um, random animal card and the uh, yeah so him uh, rattles and that goes into my uh, hand into my hand yep yep so okay where are we so, so place, the, um, uh, place that that was your first megalith yeah you got a second megalith that one megaliths. yeah megalith city uh, I think we'll go here so that's two idols and bury a card and bury another card so you've moved up to the the next Immediate three point section. And I think we've still got these two to do. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go bury. Um... So many tribesmen. Oh, so many tribes cards. Right. Oh, and the final two terrain benefits are you've got an idle movement and you get a tool. You're all fully full for tools, so you get another food. Right, that's your terrain done. 
Now we do your player board. Okay. Which is draw a card. A tool. Nothing there. Like a tool there. Which is a food and an idol. You at the top already. Wow. Five point bonus. So you've reached the top of that uh, honor track. I think. Is that it? That is it for your four rewards, and then you discard your cards. Right. So, Stephen, draw a card. Card draw. Card effects. Bury a card. Place a camp. Uh, get an idol. Got food as well. Okay. Oops. Go here. And food. And two camp movements. So we'll just go here and here. Yeah, because that will get you both of them. Yep. Uh, so here. Yep, terrain benefits. That's all You've got done. a tool and an idol. Tool, idol. And then your player board. Uh, which is one tool. One tool. No so points for the sacred yet stone on yet. The sacred stone. Not Done. quite yet. Okay. Uh, me. I get an idle movement. So I will... Yeah, I'll go up here, just, just so that I'm on it. <laughs> um, cards that I played, which is zero. Terrain benefits, right. So I've got one megalith from here. There's some really nice benefits on it here now. I'm going to take the draw two cards. So I've got one in my deck. Draw a Wally Rhino. Because they're, they're, they've managed to get into these cards as well. Um, so that's that. I get two points for this. I get an idle movement and two food. So I'll have the idle movement there. I'm going to food. And that's it for the terrain. Then I've got my player board, so I get both of these sacred stone tiles. This one is worth four points to me, because it's for each of my villages touching a green, so that's worth four points, and that's also worth four points. I get eight points for my sacred stones. I draw two cards, I gain a tool, and I gain an idle movement over there. And that's it. That's all of my benefits. So, preparation phase, moving into round three, era two. So, we get rid of all of the culture cards. They go on there. That cap card moves over. I'm going to give them a shuffle, and we'll deal later those. Could you replace the four animals? Woolly mammoths. Yeah, woolly rhinos. Right, okay, so we have the era two culture cards out. We've replenished the hunting grounds with all of the Argentavis. Uh, workers back. And then we draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, round three. This is the round where Stephen makes a comeback and gets some points. Some points would be nice. <laughs> right, Peter, you're up. I'm not going to start. I'm not going to play a culture card. But the obvious thing to do, I think is to go here. Now I need three... Three labour per labor culture card that you're buying. Get me a culture card. Yeah, these era two ones are nice. You might only play them once in the game, but... They are good. And now, how many of those cards... How many culture cards... How many um, uh, of those cards that I pick up? It must, it must have been a lot. These? Yes. I think you've taken 45,000 of these cards in this yeah, game. And none of them are actually this one. But in my, in my hand. Crafters? Oh, right, <laughs> okay. crafters in my hand. Right, okay. I think I've actually killed two crafters. <laughs> yeah, because um, crafters were getting you tools and you had too many tools, so you said we don't so need I those I need crafters. three points to get me... In fact, yeah. I and don't forget, that. you can spend labour as well if you wanted to. I uh, spent food for a, a, uh, additional labour. And, and, and I could get more than one. Yeah, you can buy as many as you want. Do that as many as I yep. like. so if I The six. most you can get is eight. If you can somehow generate 24 labour, good luck with that. But you could buy, theoretically... You can only get to 27. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, OK. Uh, so that's worth two and a half. It's two and a half for the two Brave. Two and a half. Two and a half. Um, and am I going to be doing any of that? Possibly. Uh, what about that? Possibly not. So two and a half. Four. four. And if you spent a tool, it would be five and a half. Oh, yes, because of that. 
Yeah. Which is almost six, isn't it's it? It's almost six. Look at me and my maths. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so that, five and a half labour so far. Five and a half labour. Uh, in which case, well, why not? Let's 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 do it. Let's do that, which makes six and a half. So I can have two. Don't forget, just as an option, if you wanted to spend one food, that would be the extra labour. Thank you very you much for reminding me. So six and a half labour is two culture cards. Two culture cards. Oh, spoil the choice! Look at all that amazing culturiness waiting to be. Look at those uh, icons. Um, right, which one do I want? I think it's going to be that one. Mm -hmm. The fruit mines. Flint, Flint, Flint mines. mines. That goes to my hand. Yep. Doesn't it? Well, let's have some axes. Yep. They look like fun. You can always have fun with an axe. Right, um, so that's... That's that done. done. Then I Would you like to buy it. a sacred stone? It's yes. your first one, so it's one Please. tool and one food. One tool and one food. Which and one are you going for? It's going to have to be this one. Yeah. Also, which gets me you bury a card as a placement bonus. Oh, I don't have to, do I? You don't have to. How many uh, cards have you got buried? Seven. Okay, so I'm up to my maximum points for burying cards. You're I'll just not... check three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've buried seven. Yeah, so you... there's no advantage to burying any more other Except than Except thinning your deck of cards you don't want in have... order to get more cards that you do want. Have I got any cards in my hand that I don't want? Uh, I don't think I have actually. Okay. Because they're all good. So I'm not going to do that. Right. Um, and then you get one tool and one food. Excellent. And you're done. Yeah. Discard your cards. Stephen, here we go. Discard a card. For some bone pigments. Or a little bit of food and a megalith, which is possibly going to go... I assume on a different board. Yeah. On a different board. So two idols. So two idols. Let's go... Oh, that's naughty. Do I want to bury two? Maybe I do. So let's go two idols so there. Two idols and a berry, What's and then another berry for, yeah. for that. Yeah. So let's bury that one. And let's bury that one. Okay. Any other culture cards? Not at the present, thank you. So then I need to decide where I'm going. Let's go hunting with um, Tuskbreaker, please. So you gain one gain tool one for tool. doing it. And, and then we will spend... How many Argentavis would you like? So three labour. Four. You've got the brave. Four labour. Yeah. That's overkill. So it'll be the three, and we'll take one... Two, two, three. So three labour, three tools. Yep. Now you have one labour left over. Do I have one labour left over? I so do. You turn over two more. You could turn over two before you did that. Or... Sure, let's try that. No, hang on. No, hang on. Yeah, because the maximum number of cards in the display right, is okay. six. So that was one, so two, you could, three. So you could hunt one of the Argentavis. Mm hmm Because you were going to take one of them at least, weren't you? I was. Then add two more to the display. Which was those two. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Oh, no, get... there was still room. Yeah, there, there was, was still room, okay. yes. I couldn't count. I thought I'd done something wrong. But I hadn't. So you've uh... used all of your labour and all of your tools so far. <clears throat> yeah. So I get to take another two animals. Let's take these fellows. Yeah. So Argentavis can't make a set on their own. No, that's fine. They can add to an existing set. So those three Argentavis with the stag moose is a set of four. Yep. Um, then I'll move... Down, please. Um, Killing anything? I might as well kill one of those because I'm not going to get much opportunity otherwise else. Okay. Um, let's have... Poor Argentate was just sacrificed just because of your yes. convenience for your board. <laughs> Sabretooths are happy, though. They're pairing. Uh, go there. Yeah. And then gain another animal from the top of the deck. Yeah, another animal from the top of the deck. And that will be go. me done. It's woolly, but it's a mammoth. Right. All right, so that's my done. I will discard. Right. My go. So, culture card first. I am definitely playing some more altars. Spend a tool. And I just need to be on the ground level. It doesn't matter where I go on the ground level. 
So I think I'm going to go here to get the two food. Okay. Do I want to play any other culture cards? Yes. So I'm going to discard a card to play a second culture card, which spends one food to place a camp. Moves a camp. Oh. Do we go for it? Yeah, I think we do. Move a camp. And gain a point. Do I want to play a third culture card? No, I don't. <laughs> Stop being greedy. Right. So I'm going to place one of my normal workers. And... One, two, three. I need three. Can I generate three? I can. Yeah, we're going to go for it. We'll go here. I will spend one tool to place another camp there. I will then somehow generate three labour. And that will be... Food. Yeah. <laughs> that will be with the shaman and the tool. So shaman is one and a half, with the tool is three, using the three labour to go one, two... Three, so I need an extra labour, which I've forgotten about. Mm. Tribesman, the extra labour to go there, and then three food, so all my food, to have my final village there. I think that's what we want to do. It's potentially not that great because I'm already getting that, and I'm already getting that, but it does get me the most points for that. And then place a camp and move a camp. Place a camp and move a camp. There we go. Done. Second turn of round three. Peter. Uh, well, let's start off with some axes. We'll turn food into a camp. And I'll move a camp. I'll bring it this way onto the idle. This one? Yeah. Yep. And then I draw a card. Oh, right. It's place a camp, move a camp, and draw a card. Yep. Wow. That's good. Because if I go there, I get extra stuff. You get extra free bonus stuff if you go there. Yeah. Because if I go there, I'm going to get the same whether I do it now or whether I do it. Mm -hmm. So I think instead, let's go here. And... How many more tribe cards would you like? Well, how many have you got? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so have I got a shaman in my hand? No, I haven't. So that hunter is going to pretend to be a shaman just for the exercise. Okay. Um, did I get my extra tool? One tool because you place your chief. Yes. So I've got so one, one labour for the hunter. Labor so far. Uh, two and a half labours. Mm -hmm. Two and a half labours. Um... Three and a half labours. One, two, three. Three tools. So three three cards. Uh, let's have some crafters to replace the ones that I've killed. I'll have one of those, um, a pathfinder and a shaman, please. Right. You have your ability of your tribeswoman that you can use if you want to. To turn food into tools. Let's do some of that. And then... Um, all done with the top bit? All done with that. Then I will spend a food to get a card. Card to your discard pile? To my discard pile. Let's have another crafter. And bury a card if you want to. Sorry, can I change that for a pathfinder? Yeah. Yeah, pathfinder. Uh, I'm right. not going to bury any more cards. Would you like to bury a card? So I'll get a start up on this <laughs> yeah, track. No, no, no. Since I've gone up to the top on that one, that's the end of my Hold up. Right, Stephen. <clears throat> A feast. Not May not I have a crafter, please? Thank you. And then rest. Done. No animals being tipped. Ooh, do I want to tip an animal? Yeah, let's tip that fellow. Tip extinction. Nice. Done. I will do some spit roasting. Let's have a random animal from the top of the deck. And it is a Glyptodon. Game one food, and 
Right, so at this point, I think we are going to send my chief there. Chief Chiselstone goes and does the develop action, finding a tool in a bush on the way. Um, and then I want some labour. And it's going to be... Shaman with a tool for three labour to take a card. I'm not sure I need much more of the camp movement. I definitely want some more idle movement. So I think it's going to be... It's going to be tributes. So that card goes into my hand. I then could buy my third sacred stone, except I don't have the three food, and I don't think I want to anyway. So I think that's it. That wasn't a great turn. Done. Peter, your third turn for the third round. I messed up my last one, which has ruined my um, my go. Uh, so I think I might just... Uh, I might just play that yep. to get me a random, random animal, animal and a tool. The top. Glyptodon. That's another Glyptodon. And a tool. Oh, I can choose. Ah, oh, I can choose to. You could choose to take a food, food instead, instead if you wanted to. Can't, ah, there you go. Good right. old lesser benefits. Yes, excellent. So I can go here. Yeah, you can build the village. And all I need to do is. Is where you want to build the village. Well, I want to build it on this corner here. here? Yes, that's so, where I want to build it. So I need to one tool and two labor, or three labor to move this one to there. But if you move this one, you will no longer get the benefit of that tile. Yeah, so I need to leave that there, really, don't I? Well, so let's build up. Possibly. I mean, one of the things to consider is you've only got three megaliths left to place. Yeah. So but getting then... these two in round three and then getting them again in round four, you're not going to need no. four megaliths placements. Yeah, but they, as we discovered they're so good also for then they, they once you've used up all your megaliths they get you extra cards they're, yeah yeah the lesser benefits for megaliths is, is cards i think the cost of moving him over i might move him over in a future turn but i'm not going to do it in the, immediately in this turn mm -hmm. um what i'm going to do oh, wait a minute. you're green aren't you yeah sorry what yeah. there you go <laughs> exactly. i was thinking you needed to build one and move it there i forgot about this one it was in disguise i think i probably will actually do i need to build one i i don't think I need to build one. In fact, I think I only need to. You just need one labour. One. Yep. I need one labour, which is going to be him. Yep. Is it going to be him? Oh, I've got. Oh, I've got. Um, I've got this pathfinder here, so I might as well use him instead. There you go. So that's two labour. Uh, so that's two labour, which gives me two movements. I'll so use one of one them, of them to, to move that to the here, I'll, I'll, and I won't use the other one. Okay. And then I'll burn the three food, which I've managed to get back. Yeah. One of them, so that turns those into a village. Yeah. So these three come off. That village goes there. Yeah. So you go. That's the end of my go. And you discard your cards mm -hmm. and then you create your eclipse pile. <coughs> How many cards are you putting in your eclipse pile? Good question. Uh, and you've not rested this turn. Uh, you've still got a handful of cards though. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven cards going in the Eclipse pile. Wow. <clears throat> we have very big Eclipse piles in this game. Stephen's resting a second time. Second time. Um, tipping an animal. Do I want to tip an animal? Yes. Ground sloth is being tipped. Which is one tool and four food. Two food. And you slide the woolly mammoth up because I think your card's slightly off camera. Right, and your eclipse pile is is four. Okay, I'm going to play a culture card first. Tributes. Spend one food, two idle movements. Well, I think I've given up on the right hand track, so I'll move to there and then there, which gets me to bury a card. I've got two buried cards. <laughs> How many do I need? What, four for the next what are points. Right, two idle movements, tip an animal. Uh, oh, and bury another card. Uh, 
No, I hadn't planned on tipping an animal, but let's tip the Glyptodon. Or Sagmoose. Hmm. Actually, where am I going to go as my last action? I think I'm going to get there. So, where I'm probably going to tip another animal anyway. Yeah, let's tip, let's tip a Glyptodon. National daily activity of the bear tribe. Glyptodon tipping. Glyptodon tipping, yes. Uh, which gets me one idle movement. That's it there. And gets me three food. Tip three. Uh, so that's that. And I've done that. So I did that. I did that. And I did that. Right, that's the culture card done. I'm then going to go hunting. Tools is the issue. So we're going to use a hunter. So I'm going to use the hunter. I've got two labour. Um, I will use one of those labour to add two new cards. And then I will use the second labour along with the tool to hunt this saber-toothed cat. Then I will tip said saber-toothed cat for two tools and two food. And that goes there, and I'm going to keep this card in hand for next round. So my Eclipse pile is zero. Right, Eclipse phase. I bid zero. Six. Six and a half. Oh! Six and a half wins it. So, Peter. Benefits. First of all, you get to place a megalith. Are we going to see any ben uh, any any placements on top yet? Yes, I'll put it we on are? top of the one the, the one that's got two two. Oh, actually, that, that one or that one. one. If I go on that one, I think it's, it's six points for you either way. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Six go for that one. So yeah, two points for each of your own and one point for things that are not your own. So that gets you six points. Six so points. AC. Six points in anybody's language. That's that. Right. Now the benefits of all of the cards that you've played, which there are lots. Okay. So that, so that shaman gives me a an point idle movement. on the idle. It's got to be there. Uh, that hunter gives me a village and a, camp. a food. Camp and a food. That hunter does the same again. Another camp. So a camp, sorry. No, yeah, another the food. Um, that crafter. It's two tools. Gives me two, two tools. And then you have four movement points. Could choose to take a food instead of a tool. No. You could. Um, I well, you're about to get the benefits from this board yeah. as well. So I've got four movement points. Four movement points. points. What do you want to do with those four movement points? You're already getting everything that you're next to. You could move a camp over here to get the two food. You could move those two camps here to get the two food. You could move to here to get a point. But yeah, mm. you're currently getting all of these three and you're getting these as well. Or so you could go here to deny me a megalith. I'm, I'm, let's send the one little camp out on his own. You can go trekking so he, across he, the wilderness. I'm going to make a film about this in the future, I think. <laughs> Eventually you'll get there. Yeah. Um, which leaves two... Which that one can come. Oh, oh, it can come out here, can't it? Can come here and get yeah. a point. Yeah. And enjoy the waterfalls. Okay. Go for a swim. Uh, so that, that's your four movement points. Four right. Movement terrain points. benefits. So you've got two food. Yeah. Yeah. You've got one point. Yeah. And you've got an idle movement. You've got a tool. Also known as a food. And then over here. You've got two points and two megaliths, which is your, your last two megaliths. Okay, so I'll put this one there, which is six points. And that one there, which is five points. There, five points. Nice. Okay, so that's the terrain board done. And then your player board. Two cards. Two cards. So your Sacred Stone gets you 10 points, I believe. 10 points. Wow. And you get a tool and two idols. 
So that's bury a card if you want to. No. Right. Okay, Stephen, you get to draw a card. Okay. You then have these. So place a camp. Yep. Take a food. Um, I will take a... Uh, shaman, perhaps. Give it to your discard pile. No, but I best take a hunter, I think. Okay. Let's try and get some more animals. Um, two movement points. Two movement that. points. Do you want an idle, a tool, or... Let's have else? a tool. So, yeah, so terrain benefits is a tool, and yeah. then your player board... Is one point. One point. It's off the mark. And one tool. One tool. Right. Me, again, idle movement, which is a tribe card to my discard pile. And we'll take... Uh, let's take a crafter. Uh, right. Cards played, zero. Terrain board. So I've basically got this. Yeah, this, this is mine and, and that's it. So it's an idle movement, which will be to there. It's four points. And it's two megaliths. Right, now. Oh, I would like those. The, the points are nice, but I actually get points for ones on the ground floor. So I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go here. And we're going to add an animal to the hunting ground. And then I'm going to take an animal. And then with my second one, so if I go on top, that's seven points. If I put it on the ground level, it's effectively only going to get me two. But it's going to get me the bonus there. Do I want any of the bonuses there? No, I think I'm going to go on top. I'll have seven points. Pretty good. Yeah. Don't think I did that one. No, I've done the two megaliths. I think I did the points. I think I did the idle. I didn't get the two food. Although I can only have one. Right. Next is my player board. So I get to draw three cards. One, two, three. Uh, I get a tool. I get an idle, which is up there, which is a tribe card to my hand. I'll take another crafter. And I get my sacred zones. So this is six points. And that's one, two, three, four, five... Six points as well. Mm -hmm. yep. So 12, 12 points. 39. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So preparation phase. Going into the last round of the game. We need three more culture cards. We don't need any more animals. The hunting ground has four in them. And... We draw five cards. Right, I'm looking for another Woolly Rhino to complete the set. Or an Argentavis. Now, they're all over that side of the board. <laughs> There's five of them in the game, and you've got four of them. Four of them. Yeah. All righty. Are we all ready for the final round? Mm. Okay, Peter, you're up. Okay, so am I going to play a... I think I might. These... Um, these legendary fruit mines, I've, we found a rich seam of bananas. Okay. So um, I'm going to spend a food. Spend a food. Uh, and draw a card. So, yeah, so the benefit is place a megalith, but you can't place a megalith, so you're going to choose the lesser benefit instead. Yep. And well, are you going to tip the Glyptodon? Sorry, mate, it's you or me. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Glyptodon will go, it's three food. Three food and, and an idol. And an idol. So let's make some progress there. Yeah. So that was my uh, culture card. Um, now, um, what do we do next? I think we're going to go here. I got one of those. Yes, I've got a crafter. So that's two labour. So that's two labour. Yeah. Let's let's use a pathfinder because I've got so that's three, three labour. So that's three labour. Um, which will get me a, a card. card, which could well turn out to be um, probably going to get some more 
idle movement from elsewhere, places like that, and I'll mm -hmm. draw one, two, three. Yeah, you'll probably get that to the top. I probably will get it to the top. And there's no bonus or advantage to being the first one to the top, is no. it? Not there, no. no. So, in which case, I think I will let nature take its course and instead go for something that does something else that's useful, such as... Um, animals? Yeah. I think, I think it's time to go animals. Um, time to go animals. Let's go with animal law. Let's go with yep. this one. Yeah, because it gets an extra card as well. Thank you. Uh, then, so that's that bit yeah. done. Are you going to buy... Yeah, I assume you are. One food and two tools. Uh, I think we'll have this one. Nope. Yeah, so it's two food and one tool. Two food. Two food and I'll one tool. Wrong way round. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll have this one. I thought it was your third one. worth a few points. It's worth a lot of points. And we'll have... Um, Something to your discard pile. Which I think will probably be... At a... this stage, with your deck being the size it is, this doesn't matter. No, so sort of shame them. Because you're, you're not going to get it back. Uh, discard pile. That's why it doesn't matter. Oh, of course I'm not going to get it back. We're going to see it again, aren't we? No. Right, because it's the last turn. It's the last, the last yeah, round of the game, the round. and last yeah, round. even if you draw cards, you've got such a big deck. Bonus? Yes. One of each? Yeah. Tool and a... Yeah, that's my go. Right. So a tool for a megalith, which should go here for two times. Two cards. Yeah. And then we'll go um, crafting, please. You're developing as well? Yeah. Uh... So what do we want? It's a pity there isn't a sacred stone for tipping saber-tooth cats, because I think I might have four of them by the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, culture, do I want culture? Not very cultured, am I? That's all right. Okay, so let's go with this lady, this lady for two. Um... This lady for... No, we'll, we'll go with this one. It says three and a half. Spend a food for a tool. I will take... This one. Mm -hmm. uh, then move me down, please, Paul. Sacred Stone? Sacred Stone, yes, I'll take the Mammoth... Um, the one for tipping yeah. either mammoths or margin savers. Yes, please. Yep. Which is one tool, two food, two food, and you get to and I'll take put a card in your discard pile. Something. Yes, I'll take just for the laugh, uh, hunter. So that moves down, and you're done. Done. So off we go. Now I've I've been thinking about this, uh, and it's going to be a communal feasts culture card. Spend one food. Add a tribe card to my discard pile. Why is my deck? I don't think that should be there. I think that should be there. I'm not sure this matters. So that's going to go there. Now I've got a few more turns, haven't I? Yes, I do. Look at all those bonus spaces all available. <laughs> We're going to go here. So I'm going to spend... Oh, look at all this stuff. This is all so nice. Um, I want more cards. But I don't want to spend all of my tools... So that's the thing. If I spend too many tools now, I won't then have enough tools for when I go hunting. And it's quite tricky to get tools, isn't it? So, okay. Well, let's play... Let's play the tribes woman. Spend a food, get a tool. Right, I've got one and a half labour. I'll spend the brave. So I've got four labour. I've got four labour and four tools if I want it. Well, I'm definitely going to spend one labour and one tools for a crafter. I'm going to spend another labour and another tool for a hunter. I'm so tempted to spend all of my tools, but I know I'll regret it. So I've got the two I needed. I think I'm going to spend one more. So one more and a third labour and we will take 
I'll take an Elder. Right, there are the three cards. Then we'll go down here, spend a food, and we'll take a... Uh, we'll take an Elder, which goes into my discard pile. I bury a card, I bury another card, and I get an Idle, and we'll get to the top of there. So I'm burying two cards. Uh, and it might as well be these two. Done. Right, Peter, your penultimate turn. Animal law, turn food into a random animal. What you got? And you save save the cat. Which is quite a good result. But also, I draw a card. Please be a... No, not one of those. Never mind. Uh, so then I think I will go hunting. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I'll have some... Do I need to turn over? Not yet. Let's spend... Uh, so, one and a half... Three. So three points to pick Three points up. of labour so far. Three points of labour so far. So I'll have... Spend two tools. Yep, to take the two sabre tooth cards. Two sabre tooth. Nice. Gives me a set of three. I need four. Are there any... Are there are going to be... There's no <laughs> wild ones left, because they've all gone. But there are... One, two, three, four, five. There are five more sabre-toothed cats somewhere, somewhere in, in the there. wild. Right, OK. Which probably means the next five cards will all be sabre-toothed. Uh, I will spend another point, because I spent... You've got one labour left. One labour left. I'll turn over two more. Yep. Ooh. And our friend, the Glyptodon... Right, so you've nothing left, but you can generate more stuff if you want to. I might just leave it there. No, I'm going to use one more. I've got. Have I got? Have you've I got, no spare labour. I've got no now. spare labour left. So I'll use. I'll use him. Yep. Uh, and I'll take the Glyptodon. Yep. Is the Glyptodon getting tipped? I was going to do that, but I'm only, I'm only going to see two of the three food. And the idol, is that a really good move? Um, um, you don't have to, you can keep it for a point. Um, I could use that point somewhere else and get another... No, it doesn't really... It's, it swings around about yeah. at this stage of the game, really. So I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to keep it. So... Bonus animal from the top of the deck, and it is... Another it's another Glyptodon, so the right choice to keep it. There we go. Okay. You're done. Discard yes. your cards. Stephen? So we'll discard a card. Yeah. We'll discard that one to place a Megalith here, which is place a card. Add a card into the hunting ground, and then take a card from the hunting ground. I gotta take the two cards. It's it's a point, sure. Um I'll end of food. Then we will go hunting, I think, with uh I'm out of ha, can only get two animals. Oh no, he's three, isn't he? He's three. You'll get a tool if you place your chief. A wood. Could be three ground sloths. Could be three ground sloths. Let's do that. Let's send him hunting, please. Okay, so you get one tool for sending your chief hunting. Um, and then we need some layers. I have three tools. That's two labour, three labour, and three tools. You're just going to take the three ground slots? And may as well. Yeah. Six points. Yeah. Yeah. Anything getting ticked? Yes, this fellow, because then he's going to score my sacred stone. Yeah. So you get two idle movements. So we'll go um, one here. For Tribe card to the discard pile. Sure, doesn't matter, does it? There you go. I have an elder. And, and um, one more. 
Or two points. Oh, or two points, yeah. Two points. Two points. All done. It's done. Right. So, let's do some spit roasting. Let's have a random animal. And it is... Oh, get that. That was lucky. Fourth woolly rhino. I'm getting a food. Right. Okay. We're then going to send my chief here. Because I've sent my chief to do the develop action. I gain a tool. Right. You'll like this. Not a lot. <laughs> We're going to send the crafter for two labour. The other crafter for two labour. The other crafter for another two labour. So that's six. Pretty good. Um, seven, eight, nine. For three culture cards. Wow. Okay. Uh, oof. Let's have that one. Let's have that one. And let's have that one. Okay. And I go down to here. And I'm not sure. So one of those so one of those sacred stones will get me. No, in fact, none of those sacred stones will get me any points whatsoever. No. So the only benefit of me buying it is I will gain a tribe card to my hand. For a point. For a point. But you're here. My stuff is left worth something at the end of the game. So yeah, I'm not gonna. Don't gonna do it. Not gonna buy a sacred stone. Just three culture cards. Done. So we're going to the last turn of the game. Peter, you're first. I'll go there, uh, which gets me a tool, because I've got chief looking hand. Uh, and so I've got three tools. One, two, three. That elder gets me an extra one. So that's three, three labour and three tools. I'll just have three cards, doesn't matter, Shaman, Elder, Crafter, they all... Well, these are going to go into your hand, into so you will my, get the I'll Eclipse get benefits. I'll them. get the Eclipse benefits. Yeah. Oh. So I don't want anything that's going to give me anything that isn't going to be of use. So let's have That's a, definitely of use as an Eclipse benefit. Because it gets... Because it gets one. another card, which is another point. Yep, so I'll have that one. And um, the... And, uh, no, the shaman gets me movement, but am I going to get enough? I might well have enough. Well, any other movement beyond the top is one point. Okay, so I'll have a shaman. So. And um, uh, then it's much of a much more... Oh, no, the crafter is going to get me stuff. Isn't Two it? tools. Yeah, so okay. let's do that. So there's your... So you spent three labour yeah. and three tools. Yeah. Did you spend your three tools? Oh, no, so, yeah. Yeah, one, two, three. Three tools, yeah. And then one food for another Which card. Three points to get me three points. And then I got a bit more than that. So do I spend one food to get me a card? That's another card. Get, yeah, I'll do that just in case. So this goes to your discard pile. Yeah. Or the... It, I don't think this matters because it's going to your discard it pile. It gives me two tools. Oh, it goes to the discard this pile. This is going to the discard pile. So I'm not going to see yeah. it. Okay. So that's the end of um, okay. my, my turn. And then you may as well play all of the rest of your cards because there's no point keeping any in hand. Right, Stephen, your last turn. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to rest, draw a card. Sabretooth Cat is going for two of those, two of those, and whoops. Okay. So I've got three culture cards, and I'm trying to work out which ones of them I want to play, based on which action I'm about to do. So I know I'm going to do that action, so I think I'm going to play this card. So Fables. So I have to discard a card. I gain two idle movements, which is going to be up there twice, which is two points. Bury a card and a point. Uh, doesn't matter at this stage. Okay, so that's that done. But 
then I am going to discard a card to play a second culture card and go ambush hunting. Spend a tool to add an animal to the hunting ground, then take an animal from the hunting ground, and then gain an idle movement, which will be another another point. Did I discard that to play that? I don't think I wanted to discard that to play that. I think I wanted to discard that to play that. Now, do I want to play a third? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to play a third culture card, discarding that card, to spend the food, to add an animal to the hunting grounds. Oh, that was lucky. Take an animal, and then tip an animal, but I'm not going to tip an animal. Right, I've got no cards in hand, so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to spend one food to generate one labour, and one tool to add... Do you want to do that? Because you, you're... Um, there's two points to There's get. two points to get one point. Yeah, no, because I'm going to take a crafter, which is going to get me two points. Sure. Yeah, so I take... So, uh, Andy, yeah, so I take a crafter. Yourself. Okay. And then we move to here, and I spend a food to take... Uh, at this point, it's one for one. Yeah. But I'll do it anyway. And that's it. We're done. So I'm going to put that card into my, disc into my Eclipse pile. Right then. So... Final eclipse phase, bidding. I've bid something. I've bid one. <laughs> uh, four and a half. Am I still last? I think I'm one, two, three and a half. Okay, so. Stephen. I get to Megalith. You are first. Megalith first. Doesn't make a great deal of difference. There's no positions where you can place it on top, is there? There are none. Um, but if I place one so that somebody else... Oh, no, because I don't think anybody else can. Uh I will, oh. I will be placing a megalith right. during my so bid. that's one point. Well, you're going to get another idle movement, so yeah. Mm. It's, it's going to get you a point. When am I going to get another idle? Oh, the idle here, yeah, sure. That'd be a point. Oh, but I can't get any, any more food. That's a point. Let's take this. So it's an idle movement and a burial, and burial card. Okay, so that was that. Now we get the benefits of all of the cards that you've played, which is an idle movement and a tool. One tool, one idle for a card. Which is card. A, a, card yeah, a card in your hand that you can't play. That you now can't play. Sure. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, Terrain benefits. You get a tool for this. Sure. And then your player board. Uh, which is another tool. Um, idle. idle. At the top. And Sacred Zones. Six points so you get for that six one. Six points for that. And ten points for that one. Because you've tipped. I've tipped. Yeah. One, two, Four three. in total. Yep. Yeah. Four so another ten yes. points. There you go. Right then. So I get an idle movement, which will be up the left hand side, which is a point. Um, I then get two tools for my crafter. I then get terrain benefits, which is two food. Sorry, was it you next or...? Sorry, no, it was you it next. Was, it was next, yeah. I don't know if it makes any difference. It's not going to make any difference. I, well, only in this placement. No, no, because I've got no more. You okay, so no, shall I... I'll well finish mine, yeah. even though, yeah, you should have done yours first. Um, so I've done that. I get an idle movement, which is up the left-hand side, so that's an extra, an extra point. An extra four points. Um, two megaliths, but I'm going to have one of them as a megalith, and the other one is going to be an idol, which is up the left hand side. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it, I think that's the. It's got to be the well best, on the ground it? level gets me an extra point, and taking an animal. So this is three points for you. That's a that's a potential. Chance. Yeah, no, I think you think you're right. We'll go on top. So that was four. So I think that's all of this. I did that. I did that. Instead of that, I did that. 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 I did that, I did that, I did that. And then my player board. 
is I get three card draws, but instead of those three card draws, I'm going to take three idols, which is three points. I get two more idols, which is two more points. I get a tool. And then I get my sacred stone. So that's six, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, or so another 12. Right. So, Peter, you got a card draw, which presumably you don't want. That would be a. You could take an idle movement. An idle movement. Which, which is a, a card to your discard pile. Card. Yeah. Uh, then. Benefits of cards you played. Right. So, a card to your discard pile. Cards my discard pile. Yeah. Two tools. Um, an idle, idle movement. Is there. Okay. Terrain benefits. You've got two points for this. You've got two megaliths. Which will both become idols. idols which gets me to the top of the idol. Which is a tribe card into your hand. So that's those three done. And then down here you've got an idle movement and a tool. And you get a point. And you get two food. Right. And then your player board. Two of those which will become idols. Which is two points. And a uh, tool. And two idols which will become points. Two points. And ten points for those. Yeah, and ten points for the next one. And ten points for yeah, those. Yeah, because there's ten steps up on each track, so you've gone twenty steps up. Points. So twenty points. Right, and now we do final scoring. Ah, this is where you're... I think your animals are yeah. going to here. So it? the offering track, we are all at the top of the offering track, so all of our food and tools convert one to one. So I get six points. I get 11. 13, please. 13. Right, then the honour track. So, Peter, you're at the top of the honour track. You've got seven yes. buried cards. 15. So you get 15 points, but you're 96. Stephen, you're next on the honour track. Six. Six, which is six points. Six points. Uh, and I'm at least somewhere on the honour track. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've also got six. Three points. Three points. Tribe and culture cards. So now take all of your cards from your hand, deck, discard pile, everywhere, and count up the points on them. It's going to be close. Uh, is it? It's going to be close between us two. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> I'll take 11, please. 11. Uh, nine. 18. Oh, 18? Yeah. I had 19. I'm sure you had more than that. Oh, um, sorry, I'm... Oh. It's 18 plus. So 18 so far. I'll take another point. 19. Yeah, make that 26. So I'm adding another 8. Yeah. It's a good score. Right, finally, non tipped animals. So go on, Peter, we'll do yours first. Right, well, this doesn't take very long to add up because I've got uh, 9 points. So 3 saber tooth cats for 6, yeah. and 2 glyptodons for 3, so 9 points. Okay. So putting you on 131. It's an improvement on last time. Stephen? Two. Two for a one wo woolly mammoth. Eight. Eight? Eight. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. So what do you, what do you want? Individuals? Individuals. We okay, did so the two. Two. Uh, six. We've done the six. Ten. Another ten. One. And one. Right, I got three stagmosises, which is six. I got four woolly rhinos for ten. I have two woolly mammoths for five. There we go. So we have final scores. Green wins with 131. Uh, purple second, 120. Stephen with 69. And that is a full three-player game, which from my point of view played out quite differently from the last yes. three-player game.
because we all went for different things. It was different sacred stones. We did we didn't really compete much on the Not honor much. track. Um but yeah. That's it. That that's a full three player game. Um and I think I've said that a good winning score generally is somewhere around 120 to 130. And we seem to be in that rough ballpark figure for, for what score wins. So yeah, we're all done now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much to Fantasia Games for asking me to create these videos. This is the second video in a series of six videos uh, on, yeah, how, basically trying to help you learn the game. Uh, and also a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you like the content that I create, leave me a like and leave me a comment. Um, but if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon and help support the channel, then it's patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. We're all done. We're going to pack up this, have some lunch, and then we're going to be playing the game with the Ancestors expansion this afternoon. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to you two for joining me. Thank you. We'll see, see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.